words words are powerful motivators and have the ability to transform the history of a nation and bring transition in the perception and mindset of people it is a proud privilege of fagis to host the nun conference in collaboration with the un ic for india and bhutan and empower young delegates to pool their innovative ideas and collaborate fruitfully for multilateral negotiations to resolve issues concerning the world I hope you must have saw a neat moment of the proceedings to the fullest. I would like to acknowledge the Deputy Secretary General of Fair Gates UNIC Mount Mr. Parth Agarwal. I would request him to come and share a few words with us. Parth Agarwal, the Deputy Secretary General for Fair Gates Model United Nations North India Region collaboration with United Nations Information Center for India and Bhutan. I would like to say that it was really delightful to work for you all and see your gleaming eyes in this annual i surely believe the saying that be the protagonist of your story speak up voicing your opinion in today's era matters a lot people tend to think that life is a race but i think that it is not a race but a place where rabbits have to swim and turtles got to run fast to reach their goal ironical isn't it does i feel experiences matters a lot to put this rabbit swimming turtle running fran in action through my whole journey of amun the experience that i have got has always held me and yes compelled me to the confidence enough to stand up to my viewpoint what i hope today is that delegates will take life lessons from the whole conference it was really exciting to host you all the proceedings of different committees were both appreciating i would like to upload for for you all the way committees were made more exciting and that was really enjoyable too each committee in common i feel had a match of cooperative and supportive executive board with interactive delegates it was really miraculous i had to say the way the discussions proceeded during mods as well as unmod i could see the delegates of future amongst them and what i hope is that the delegates will keep up with this passion in the future too while observing what happened in the committees today i also learned one more thing lion is not the fastest not the cleverest not the largest animal but then also it is the king of the jungle why this is all because of the attitude i have heard people say go all out tear the life out of the delegates oppose them and win but i personally believe that it is the positive attitude that matters Everyone is about learning, supporting, and moving together, opposing together. What I am sure about is that all delegates here today must have stood up to the virtues that should be followed. Now, coming to the event as a whole, I would just like to say some line that an event is not only graced by the presence of many renowned experts, but also by how many amateur beginners had the confidence to join it. and being in the organizing committee i was so enthralled by seeing so many of you being the beginners and having the courage to try something new and out of the box i had to say that i am enthusiastic to see permanent delegates that is delegates for life whoever has the courage to speak up and do stand out of the crowd is a delegate it doesn't matter if you fumble or if you were the hot potato of the mer instead what matters is that you have the courage to speak up i say again you have the courage to speak up so i would just say keep on amening keep on amening not for winning let us all learn let us all learn for more knowledge let us all yearn for more knowledge let us all yearn the main motive of fair gaze north india region was to give you an experience to cherish for life and hope we fulfilled it right and being this deputy secretary general for this whole event was really worth it and actually awesome i am extremely grateful to miss mildred audrey lobo the principal of bunt sanghas sm shetty international school and junior college and ib world school and to dr nilesh khare phd strategy the ohio state affiliate partner and country head india board advisor executive coach startup mentor higher ed learner and visiting professor iim sambalpur i am also grateful to team peer gaze all the executive board members secretary general teacher in charge and all the people who took me to a new level of amen 
before signing off i would just say your luster your aura can never fade away keep on shining with that aura and give out your unique vibe thank you this was your deputy secretary general parth agarwal signing off now i would like to introduce our chief guest miss mildred audrey lobo principal kantai sangha sm shetty international school and jr college nib world her mission is to provide rich experiences to our students whether in person or in online mode to this effect she will continue to encourage active student engagement and foster a lifetime love for learning she is known for her wonderful administration and high achievements of the institution she is in charge of apart from this she renders herself she renders selfless service to society she has molded the life of students and served people with her kindness ma'am we are honored to have your presence with, her, with us i would request you to please kindly address the students it's an absolute pleasure to be here greetings and good afternoon everyone at the first place at the outset i would like to thank fair gaze for having me here today and i'm absolutely honored to be the chief guest at the fair gaze model united nations for the north indian region young people the model united nations has given you this opportunity to take on the role of a world leader and all of you would have formulated some policies and made decisions which will have an impact on the global community it's an awesome responsibility and one that i'm sure you wouldn't have taken lightly over the day you would have looked at crisis situations you would have tried to find solutions effective solutions and sustainable solutions that are not just for today but would have an effect in the long run congratulations to all the delegates you've made it through and i know from my experience at having model united nations at my school that it would have been very challenging but let me tell you something the skills that you would have learned today are going to hold you in good stead communication collaboration negotiations resolving conflict these are all 21st century skills and that's exactly what you must have exhibited today i'm sure that at the end of the day each one of you feels that you have made a difference and as part just said you would have made memories memories that you will cherish and that will last you a lifetime even as we speak there are changes taking place in the world today political changes economical changes technological changes social Devan. changes and there is so much of competition there's so much of complexity and there's so much of ambiguity as well as future leaders i'm asking you students what will your stand be are you going to be bogged down by this complexity are you going to be worried by all this volatility i don't think so because i believe that each one of you the youth of today you are brimming with confidence you're brimming with enthusiasm each one of you in this world of today has information at your fingertips it's just there at the click of a button what will you do with this information you need to look at it very critically very objectively and use it wisely and well to make an informed decision each one of you today must be a pioneer you have to be an expert you have to be an innovator and each one of you must think of yourself as a thought leader you would have prepared your uh, position papers today and you would have done so much of research but let this research not just be for a model united nations let this research be in everything that you do in all aspects of your life you need to become experts india is forging ahead my dear children and it is you who can create a new india of course you will face problems there will be challenges along the way but it's up to you to create solutions and make your country proud the committees today had very important topics you had sustainable development you had the 
Russian Ukraine conflict you had maritime pollution you have justice for children each one of these are so important i want you not to let it remain just at a model united nations take it with you in your classrooms in your schools in your colleges in your community and into the world it's up to each one of you and each one of you can make that difference congratulations today for taking part in this model united nations it's not easy it's challenging but it's an exhilarating experience and each one of you definitely have made a difference i wish you all the very best as you go on through life keep these memories with you and remember that you are the one who can make this world a better place thank you i would like to welcome dr nilesh hare phd strategy the ohio state affiliate partner and country head india board advisor executive coach startup mentor hired leader and visiting professor iim sundarpur dr nilesh has contributed to various organization as a strategy advisor and he is an higher ed leader with 25 years of rich experience in varied settings so i would kindly request you to please address our delegates here uh this is the second time that i am actually addressing mun gathering and in between i also learned what the mun participants go through i have two boys and both of them have experienced mun event when i look at what i see coming the events like mun are the source of hope that the awareness that we can raise by bringing students together to create a context where they can have greater appreciation of the issue that they're likely to face and not only about the issues but also about themselves you come to such events with your own ideas with your own perceptions and then you walk away with understanding as to why other people think differently about those issues in any multilateral context one of the essential thing is to understand where do can where can you draw a line and it's not an easy task while drawing a line appreciate the how other party might see the issue but you also need to understand that you need to draw a line in such a way that the entire meaning is not lost because here comes the time for the results may i request miss or mildred or the logo ma'am to announce the results for best delegate best reporter best caricaturist and high commendation of all the committee as the previous speaker said these prizes are just a part of it so congratulations to everyone who participated and as sir said walk away with a greater sense of responsibility so now to the winners the delegate for unga the delegate for of united kingdom soham i don't have the surname but uh, the best delegate is soham for unhrc the delegate of usa is arnav for unicef the delegate of south korea vedika for unea delegate of russia is shatakshi for unsc delegate of usa aradhya or she is ardhya international press best journalist aditi agarwal for unsc feature best caricaturist kanishk high commendation unga delegate of germany ria unicef delegate of saudi arabia that's anubati anubuti unea delegate of belgium bavisha and unsc delegate of georgia jay congratulations to all of you and the winners are the special mentions unga delegates of switzerland devanshi 
UNHRC delegate of Afghanistan, uh, Nandita. UNICEF delegates of Poland and Ukraine who are Kati and Sonakshi. UNEA delegates of South Africa is, uh, this is a difficult name, right? So let me see this, if I can get it right. Lemjing Grenba. Uh, I hope I could get closer to the right pronunciation. Uh, the verbal mentions are UNHRC delegates of Germany and Mongolia by Jaina, uh, Jane and Dia. UNICEF delegates of India, USA, Canada who are Shivanshi, Trisha and Veer. UNSC delegates of New Zealand and Ukraine who are Mahiba and Mirdwika. As IP drew for UNHRC interview and best position paper, UNGA delegates of Belgium, Kushi. UNHRC delegates of Afghanistan, Nandita. Delegates of North Korea, Ananya. Delegates of China, Aryan. Delegates of Poland, Vrishti. Congratulations to everybody. Hi, and a very warm good evening, delegates. So what a great conference you all did. I earnestly love to thank each one of you. In the beginning of opening ceremony, we determined to plan and reinvent as per the necessities of the current world. So we filled our resolutions with the plans of better world. I'm still in vow to see you all young delegates, especially beginners doing deliberations just like UN ambassadors. It was even an enriching experience for us to learn from all of you. I would say that. So moving ahead, I would like to thank our esteemed chief guest in the opening ceremony, Ms. Minakshi Alawat, principal of the Star Global School Rohatak, and the guest of honor, Ms. Malini Bindra, Supervisory Head, Primary Wing, and Cambridge Coordinator, Kulachi Hansraj Model School. And now, would also like to thank Ms. Mildred Audre Lobo, Principal of Ban Sangha's SM Shetty International School and Junior College. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being the Chief Guest of today's session. And would also like to thank the Guest of Honor, Dr. Nilesh Khare, PhD Strategy, the Ohio State, Affiliate Partner and Country Head of India, Board Advisor, Executive Coach, Startup Mentor, Higher Ed Leader and Visiting Professor of IIM Sambalpur. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us today. And uh, I would like to thank both the guests that, you know, because of your pre presence, you actually encourage all our young delegates in the Fairgate Model Agent Nations. Uh, which was for the Northern India region and it was in collaboration with United Nations Information Center for India and Bhutan. So I would like to request everyone that please give them a huge round of applause virtually. Everyone. Thank you so much. So moving ahead, there were 20 plus schools that saw a good number of participation in Fergus Modern United Nations for Northern India region. So along with United Nations Information Center for India and Bhutan, we would like to thank various prominent schools whose students participated as delegates, caricaturists, and reporters today. So I would like to thank Auxilium Convent School, Army Public School, Delhi Public School Vasan Kunj, BLG DAV Public School, Jhakal Mandi, Lotus Valley International School, Modern School Barakhamba, Gems Modern Academy, DAV Public School Bhatinda, RN Public School, The Star Go Global School, Step by Step School, SD Public School, Shikshantar School, APJ School Noida, WH Smith Memorial School, Abhinav Public School, Bal Bhavan Public School, Kulachi Hansraj Model School, Obroy International School, St. Montfort School, La Matnias Girls College, Delhi Public School Noida Sector 30, APJ School Model Town, St. Paul Mittal School. So all these schools, uh, their delegates, reporters and caricaturists, they all participate in good numbers and because of them only this event was really successful. Now, uh, before moving ahead, uh, so it was a time to announce the best school delegation and we're still counting the winners and who's going to win that. So I'm going to tell that in the last. But uh, now this conference can never be successful without our esteemed secretariat. 
so i would like to appreciate them mr vipul mittal who is our secretary general and mr parth agarwal the deputy secretary general and also all our executive board members of each committee so i would like to mention each one of them starting with the united nations general assembly the chairperson was mr harsh khatri vice chairperson riana then in united nations human rights council the chairperson is mr sorish bhardwaj and vice chairperson mr ujwal gupta united nations security council the chairperson is mr parth bhaseen vice chairperson ms anisha sahgal united nations environment assembly chairperson is ms jayati bhatia and vice chairperson ms monica united nations children's fund chairperson is ms gauri vadera and vice chairperson ms anvit yagi and for international press editor in chief kanak kotnala ms kanak kotnala and head of caricature mr shreyas so everyone i would request all of you to please give them all a huge round of applause both for our secretariat and executive board members for their dedicated efforts throughout the conference to give a wonderful experience to all the delegates thank Then you so i would like to take yeah right and please please go on yeah so i would take this opportunity to mention very talented pranav chopra and molik ketkar from iit bhu who were the trainers in the orientation program and the training session of this particular month and now is the time to release the newsletter of fair gaze moral united nations for northern india region so i would request the host to kindly share the newsletter so this is the newsletter which is prepared by international press and you can see the great work done by whole international press would like to specially applaud ms kanak kotnala who is our editor in chief and mr shreyas who is our head of caricature us so they both and their team members did a lot of hard work to prepare this newsletter and still they are going to sharpen this presentation more and would we'll share the final one and that we are going to live on our website and you can take this ahead so this was all to give you all people the best experience in the international press and to highlight the major events that happened in other committees so i would request everyone to again give them a huge round of applause so uh, i would request the host to uh, stop the screen share so the people behind this conference worked really hard to give you all the best moon experience ever so would be mentioning all of them now starting with the core as without them this was never possible so the pegas director mr ml sudeen pegas chief operating officer mr shatrupa das gupta and head of school outreach and engagement of pegas mr subrat mandal and now moving ahead coming to the ones who were handling this conference with their utmost dedication and 24 into 7 help to support you guide you and make you learn throughout this journey so ms mansi bish public relations officer give her a huge round of applause because she was you know all time available to each one of you and working really hard and then as ms kairin or host of of the day so applause is for her too ms kairin for ms kairin and then i would like to appreciate ms janvi ms renu and ms divanshi who are our pr coordinators so they were also continuously supporting with all the tech and research support they could do with all the delegates so they all together worked in great coordination to give all the delegates full on un experience also extending my thanks to our it creative and digital support teams thankful to mr abhay it head mr jaswinder creative head and mr anurag digital head for their extensive support I extend my thanks to all the parents, teachers, mon coordinators, and principals of various schools of Northern India region. And on behalf of whole Fairgas and United Nations Information Centre family, we thank each one of you for becoming a part of Fairgas Mon North India region. 